Welcome to this short video on defining cascading list of values within Oracle Apex. So I have this application here where I have projects, milestones and tasks. If we have a look at milestones, you'll see that they're associated with a given project. Now if I drill down and have a look at tasks and have a look at the form page, one of the issues you will notice is I can select any project here and then any milestone. What I would prefer is that it only displays the milestones for the selected project. So to do that, we're going to define this list of values as a cascading LOV that works off the project that's being selected. So let's go ahead and do that. So from the developer toolbar, I'm just going to go in and edit the page. And let's go and have a look at the milestone first. And you'll see in here that it's actually using a shared component called the milestones name here. So what I'm going to do is navigate across to shared components because I need to create a new version of that list of values that I can utilize. So I'm just going to do a copy, select my milestones list of values here, give it a new stone. So I'm going to call it milestones for P7, for page 7. And I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to edit this list of values. So here's my definition for this list of values. It's working off the milestones table. And all I need to do is add in a where clause. So where project ID is equal to the value from the page, which I happen to know is P7 project ID. And then I can apply those changes. So now what I'm going to do is go back to my form page. And again, select my milestone item. And then I'm going to scroll down here. And I'm going to select, first of all, my new list of values. And then all I need to do is actually select the parent item, which is the project ID. Now I'm going to go and save these changes and navigate back to my runtime environment. And I'll refresh this page. So let me just select one of these records again. And let's have a look. There's no um, milestones for that project. Let me pick a different project now. And you'll see that it's only displaying the milestones for the project that I've selected. So I can only select the appropriate milestone. So thank you very much for watching this short video on how to define cascading list of values within Oracle Apex.